hey y'all, hey, hey y'all. Hi. Okay, this is my last video for real, and I kind of touched on this a little bit real quick. Y'all know shame and dishonor and, you know, when I was coming up my steps today, I saw a bee's nest. And the bee's nest had been knocked down. Do y'all know, um, you know, we don't worship idols. We don't worship, um, first of all, you got to know what demon is on your, your bloodline and your legacy. If uh, if a spirit of divination, if a spirit of uh, Jezebel, if there's a spirit, if there's these different types of spirits that are attached to your bloodline, whether it's from your mother or your father's side, you got it. First, it is very much important. His our history is important so that we are aware of what we need to fight spiritually. Okay, so going back into your history and knowing where you come from, what what preceded you is very, very important. It's important. It's very important. It's as important as it is to know so that you know what you're fighting against. You know, if I, if I know my legacy comes from a line of um, root workers, then I know... Uh, 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 women who are emasculate men that divination if i know that this is something that's on my bloodline right then it's something that i gotta be very conscious and aware of that um if i'm raising a son i'm giving him grace and i'm talking to him gently and i'm constantly empowering and lifting him up and i'm showing him that this ain't you don't you don't uh, receive a woman that's gonna talk to you any kind of way and not respect you and not have patience with you and not understand not not have any understanding or compassion for you okay if i know that i come from a line of men who are are sexually immoral then i know that that's something that i need to pray against lord help this wandering eye i'm full of lust every single day i just got to have it when i need it i need it when i have it i got to have it it don't matter what it look like. It don't matter what it smell like, what it tastes. I just got to have it. If I know I come from a, a line of men who are so full of lust that they will even begin to open their eyes to the same sex. Because, baby, it gets to a point where when you, when you, it, it gets to a point where the enemy will present everything to you. And once you try the same thing so many different times, that mind starts to get creative. That that sexual impulse and that desire starts to thrive and want more and more and more. Like, man, what this feel like? I wonder what this will do. I wonder how that, you know, lust is a tricky thing. I'm telling you, man. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, man, it'll trip, it'll trip you up. I'm telling you, man. I'm trying to tell you because um, the worst part about it is, the, the, and I'm, I'm sure y'all can relate to this. Anybody who has, uh, who is a person after God's own heart, right? You like, man, I don't want to live in sin, man. Lord, show me your ways, Lord. Show me what I'm doing wrong. And God begins to change your heart and, and renew your mind. Then you end up falling. You know what I'm saying? You end up doing something you know you shouldn't do. And then right after it, you feel that guilt and that shame and that, ooh, that disgust. You mad with yourself like, God dang, man, I done did it again, man. Do you know that's the enemy's intention to get you in that repetitious spiral? Because the more you feel shame and guilt, you begin to feel despair. You begin to get lower and deeper and lower and deeper and lower and deeper. And that's the enemy's goal to ultimately get your mind to a state where it's just warped. And you like, well, I may as well just, I mean, because YOLO, you only live once. And I'm already 37. I'm already 38. I'm already 45. I'm already, you know, 24, 27. I ain't got, you know, I'm about to be in my 30s. I might as well keep going. You know, I'm only 18. I'm only 19. Like, I'm, 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 I'm I just been able to, to buy liquor. I'm only 21. You know, I'm, I just came legal. So, I mean, man, I might as well. 
I might as well get it in, YOLO. Then you get you that that's the whole point of it. And every single time after you finish, you feel that guilt, that disgust, that like, man, I know I can do better than this. Man, like, man, I know I'm stronger than this, man. That's why it's good if, if you don't have that discipline and that self-control. That's why it's good to have people who will hold you accountable and, and don't make you feel ashamed because you don't sin the same way they sin. Just because you might fail in areas of sexual immorality and they might fail in areas of addiction and rejection. You know, they can still encourage you and say, look, I know you feel rejected today, but that's okay. Look, don't worry about that. I, you know, and not, not to trauma bond, you know, not the trauma bond. Like, well, I drank too, child. No, hold me accountable. Look, look, let's be, let's build a plan. You need to text me when you know you, you, you feel like you want to get you a drink. Text me and we'll go exercise. You know, you need to text me when you feel like you want to hit shorty up and be like, Hey, come, you know, fellatio me or whatever whatever the case may be listen i'm just throwing stuff out there y'all according to what's being you know what's coming to my spirit and coming to my heart but that storm was intended to silence you that's what this is all about you know shame will put you in a place of but but i i oh i challenge you that even in the storm don't close your mouth that's why i'm getting up here now I'm not, I don't care what's going on. I'm a God. There was a season that, dang me, I'm getting on here now because I was, but God was literally like telling me, just chill out. You know, you ain't got to let me, let me work. Let me, you know, you just spend time with me. You just rest in me. You know, it had come to a point where this, the warfare was just exhausting. I was like, this has got to be, I mean, y'all, and nobody ain't tired. I'm just tired. Like, go somewhere now. I'm not going to give myself to nobody. I'm not going to surrender. I'm not going to, like, it got to that point, you know. But God was just like, look, I got you. Don't worry about it, you know. And now I'm, I'm, I'm up here to share this and be obedient to God because he did sh show me this today. But that's all. I don't want to keep going on babbling, you guys. But that's pretty much it. That storm was sent to keep you quiet. But I just want to encourage someone, encourage myself. It don't matter what you're going through. That even through the guilt, through the shame, through the whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever was thrown in your way, whatever the obstacle, whatever the wind, the waves. Do what God called you to do. And watch how he deliver you. He said he, y'all know that scripture that, they, that God healed them as they went. There were some, I want to say they were, they were, they were lepers or they were afflicted with some sort of disease or some sort of infirmity and the Holy Spirit touched them. And then he, the, the, the healing did not come immediately, but as they went and continued their journey with Christ, with each other, you know, doing what it was that they were called and assigned to do, the healing came. God can and he will. Y'all watch this month of September. It's going to be a God did it month. And I want every single person to testify with humility under the grace of the Holy Spirit. Because here's the thing. What God is about to do in your life, you've been tested, you've been tried. And now it's time for you to show that... that these people, th these other people, some somebody, them, they, us, We've indulged in pride, self-gratification. We have boasted in ourselves. We have had a um, a form of godliness and denied the power. You know, we've been playing in God's face. You know, but God is raising up nobodies. He's raising up nobodies to show the world that he's somebody. That these nobodies who said, you know what, I ain't going to compromise. I'm sorry, you you might have backed me into a corner, but baby, watch. Uh, this I'm fine in this corner, but I'm not surrendering to the darkness. That the God that answers by fire be God. I love you guys so much. God loves you better, best, and the absolute most. There's nothing you can do about it if you try. Cry loud, spare not. Raise up your voice like a trumpet in Zion. 
I love you so much. God loves you better, best, and the absolute most. There's nothing you can do about it if you try. See ya.